Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Bluetooth on and off button is missing on your Windows computer. So let's get started. So very first thing is you're going to try to run the Bluetooth troubleshooter, which you can search in the search bar in your settings to search up Bluetooth. And then you should see an option that says find and fix problems with your Bluetooth device. You can go ahead and run that. And there is the Bluetooth troubleshooter that's built in. You're just going to hit next. And it's going to basically detect if there is any problem with the Bluetooth that it can find and fix it for you. Again, this is a troubleshooter that's available on your laptop by default. So you can go ahead and run that. Now, go through this and check. As you can see, your mine is fixed, so I don't have to do anything. But if the problem is fixed, you're going to hit no. And then keep on going through this troubleshooter. So that's going to be step one. Let's say that didn't work for you. The next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is go into... Open up the run, R-U-N, run program. In the run program, you're going to type in basically services.msc. So services.msc here, just like that. Click on OK. That's going to open up our services menu. And then from here on, we're going to look for the Bluetooth services. There's three different Bluetooth services. So you'll see audio gateway service, support service, and then Bluetooth user service. So each one, you're going to go ahead and click. Right click, restart them. So you're gonna restart first one and then go down the list and do all three of them. So you, each one you're just gonna just re, uh, restart them just to make sure you're gonna go ahead and do that. And then the last one as well. That's a quick and easy fix. If the services are not running, your Bluetooth will not run. So go ahead and restart them. And let's go ahead and wait for this last one. Now the next thing you wanna do if it's still not working is this time right click and then you're gonna click on properties and in the properties where it's a startup, you're going to want to go to set this to be automatic. And then you're going to go ahead and apply and hit OK. So you're going to do that for that one. Same thing with the next one. Go to properties, set up to be automatic, apply, and OK. And then the last one as well. We're going to go set up and properties. Click on automatic for startup type and then apply and then okay as well. So all three of them, make sure they're set to automatic. And after that, go ahead and give it a try. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you're gonna do is exit out of here and look for device manager. So search for device manager, it's a control panel setting. And then once you're in device manager, you're gonna look to see if you see a Bluetooth option here. If you do, you're gonna go ahead and click on it and then look for the Bluetooth one so you might have intel amd or some other brand that will say wireless bluetooth you're going to click on it once and then right click and from here on you're going to go ahead and try to go ahead and update driver click on update driver and then search for automatically for driver update and see if you have an update if you not move on to the next thing so we're going to close this out and they're going to right click again and you want to make sure that if it's disabled to enable it so let's say if this was disabled right there should be an option that says enable so you're going to make sure it's enabled now let's go ahead and do the last thing if that if you don't see a bluetooth device let's say here at all you're going to go up top here and then add a legacy hardware you're going to look for a legacy hardware hit next and then click on install the hardware that i manually select from advanced list hit next and then click on show all device keep that and then hit next on this and then it's basically going to look to retrieve any legacy device that you have here. So you're going to wait till this completes. And once it does, you're going to look to see if you can find a Bluetooth legacy uh, driver here that you can select and then hit next. Here, I won't have this because I already have it. But if you're going to go down, just look through it. It's a long list, but it'll help. Usually it might be under Intel or as you can see here, right here. And then you're going to hit next to uh, go ahead and finish this adding this up so after you have done that and let's say it's still not working the next thing you're going to do is take a note of your computer so if you have uh, let's go into a file explorer here and then you're going to go to your this pc and right click and then show property and then you're going to take a look at first if you, what kind of Bluetooth you have so example if you have Intel or AMD or another brand and how many bit your computer is 
it will be all displayed in that property if it's 64 bit or 32 bit most likely 64 bit and then you can go to any browser and search up intel or amd in your case 64 bit bluetooth driver you're going to look for that and then it will take you to their website that has the driver and then you're going to download the latest driver here so here i already have it downloaded once you download it it's going to be saved to again in your downloads or in a browser you're going to click on it and run the update here so what will happen is you click on that and you're going to hit yes and you're going to wait to see if it can update your driver for you sometimes the driver might be old and you need to update so you'll see an update available you're going to hit yes and then go through the process so you're going to hit yes and then you're going to hit next and then it's going to run through this update option here and then once you're ready you're good to go here i already have it installed in the latest version so i don't need to do it but that's something you'll need to do then after you have all done all this and it's not picking up the final thing to do if you haven't done so just restart the computer so you can pick up those changes that we have done and hopefully after that your bluetooth on and off button is working that was missing and i hope this video is helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time